Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and following on from our very popular tool for how to see if Recall is running actually on your PC. A little bit of a follow up to that. So, from the comments and suggestions, we've got a lot of people are obviously very concerned about uh, telemetry data, security concerns in Windows 10 and also in Windows 11, obviously, and going forward. And a lot of you have asked about how to actually remove most of the features or most of the problematic stuff. So, there's actually a really cool tool called Win 11 D Bloat. It does actually work on Windows 10 as well, but it's named for the more common version or the latest version. It's a really easy script to run and there's ways you can do it either automated or you can do it step by step. So you can actually remove a lot of the things in Windows which are somewhat problematic or just to make a smoother experience and remove things like your OneDrive and your libraries and all that kind of stuff which you don't necessarily want. You just want a nice clean operating system without all the faff. So with all that said, I think it's time to head over to the computer. Let's take a look and see if it's going to be something which is going to be interesting to you. So links for this will be in the video description. You can get it from GitHub and being that it's from GitHub, you can analyze all the code. So if you're a bit of a techie, you want to have a look at the code for yourself, you can certainly go ahead and do so. But I think for most people, you're going to be quite happy just to click on this button here, download the zip file. We're going to save this to our Windows desktop. And that is essentially it. So this is the tool, win 11 d -Bloat. Again, links will be in the video description if you want to check out in more detail. There's actually some really good useful guides on here. And there is an about section. So it says here, a simple, easy to use PowerShell script to remove pre-installed apps from Windows, disable telemetry, remove Bing from Windows search, as well as perform various other changes to declutter and improve your Windows experience. This script works for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So there you go. So let's close this down. We've downloaded the file, so we're going to extract this folder. And we've got the dbloat master folder here. Now, I would suggest before you do this, make sure you've got a backup of your operating system. If you haven't, go ahead and do that now. It's very important because this is designed to make Windows better, but potentially it can break things. So I just wanted to make you aware, do a backup, make a system restore point, whatever you want to do, just make sure that if for some reason you don't like the changes it's made, you can revert back to your previous operating system. So with all that said, let's take a closer look. So if we go into this folder and you've got all the assets, menus, reg files, etc. So you can have a look through those if you want to. There's also a license. The one that we're going to be mostly concerned about is actually getting it running. So with this open, now we can go ahead and click on run. And you'll get the user account control notification come up to run PowerShell. So click on yes. And you'll get this nice window coming up. So it's all basically menu driven. So you can choose the settings you want. So if you want to just go ahead and do their default setting, default mode, you can just press number one and enter and it will apply the default settings. You can do a custom mode so you can modify the script to your needs. Now, don't worry, you don't have to do any scripting yourself. It's all menu driven. And the last one, you've got the three is the app removal mode. So from this, you can actually just go ahead and select and remove applications without making other changes, such as disabling your telemetry and those kinds of other features. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the custom mode, which is number two, where we can actually modify the script for our specific needs. If you want to see more information, you can type in zero, press enter, and it will go through and give you a description of basically all the things it can do. To some extent, there's more details on their website. When you've had a read through that, you just press enter. So again, default mode is probably going to be the simplest one, but possibly the most risky because it may remove things that you actually may want to keep. So we're going to go ahead and do number two, which is the custom mode. Press two, hit enter. So now we've got some options here. So we've got options. Don't remove any apps. Only remove the default selection of bloatware apps from the apps list dot text, which is available in the folder. So if you go back to your dbloat master, you can have a look in the apps list. So if you open that and you can go through and see all of the defaults that it will try to remove. There's quite an extensive list. So you can do that if you want to. Or alternatively, you can remove the default selection of Blitware apps, as well as mail and calendar, developer apps and gaming apps. Or number three, which I think is the most sensible, and that is to select which apps to remove and which ones to keep. So we're going to go ahead and press number three and enter. And there we get our deep load application selection. So if you want to, you can check or uncheck all. Choice is yours. And if you want to, you can go for only show installed apps. So 
it does give you a list of all the apps, but you can get it so that it's got the ones that are installed. So if you want to, you can remove Microsoft Edge. Probably I would recommend against that, but it essentially it's gonna be down to the individual. You can get rid of things like Get Help, OneDrive. Microsoft Paint I use quite often, so I'll keep that. Screen Sketch, we'll get rid of that. Uh, Dev Home, never use that. Windows Alarms, Calculator I use, Windows Camera. So basically just go through and choose whichever ones you want to actually get rid of. So anything which is checked will be removed. So there's gonna be things that you use, obviously leave those in just to choose whichever one, like Microsoft Store, I use that. The Terminal, Xbox Game Center, etc. Uh, we'll get rid of your phone and Zoom Music, don't use those. So like I said, just go through and choose whichever ones you actually want to get rid of. When you're happy, click on Confirm. And it says you have selected 11 apps for removal. Disable Xbox game stroke screen recording. This also stops the game overlay pop-ups. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. So click on yes. If you do use the Xbox game recording feature, obviously set that to no. So now we've got some other options. So options don't remove any pinned apps from the start menu. So this is actually a bit of a safeguard. So if you actually go to your start menu, if there's apps in here which are pinned already, but are scheduled for removal, it will keep them. So that is a little bit of a safeguard, so that's good. Uh, one note's there, so we probably wanna get rid of that. So yeah, you've got the option there, what you wanna do. You can, of course, if you want to, remove all the pinned apps from the start menu. So get rid of everything, uh, remove all pin apps from the start menu for all existing and new users. So you've got some options there. I'm gonna leave it as, if I've got them pinned, I wanna keep them, so I'm gonna press N, and press enter. Now this is the really cool part. This is the bit we really want to get to. So disable telemetry, diagnostic data, activity history, app launch tracking, and targeted ads. Hell yes. Next we've got disable tricks, tips, suggestions, and ads in start, settings, notifications, explore, and lock screen. You know we want to get rid of those. Also disable and remove Bing web search, Bing AI, Cortana in Windows search. I think that's pretty much obvious that we want to get rid of those things. And we want to get rid of Copilot and disable it. Obviously, if you use it and keep it, the choice is yours. But I think most of you, if you're watching this video, you're going to want to get rid of it. So I'm going to click on yes. And also, this is one which obviously goes back to uh, what we were discussing in the previous video, disabling Windows Recall Snapshots. Uh, this applies to all users. So we're going to click yes, obviously, because we definitely don't want that. And you've got the option to restore the old Windows 10 context style menu for the right click. Now, if you're on older versions of Windows, you probably don't mind changing that. If you're on 24H2, it actually has the older style context menus, which I quite like. So I'm actually gonna say, no, I don't wanna restore those. Um, do you wanna make any changes to the taskbar and related services? So I don't really think I want to, but let's take a look anyway, just for, um, completeness so you've got the option to align your taskbar buttons to the left hand side which i know a lot of you like um, personally i like it in the middle so i'm going to choose no and then obviously we've got our options here so options are no change hide search icon from taskbar show search icon on taskbar basically you can read that for yourself so hide or change the search icon on the taskbar now i actually have it here yeah actually let's get rid of it so I'll choose number one and press enter. Uh, hide the task view button. Mine's already hidden anyway, so I'll click yes anyway. Uh, disable the widget service and hide the icon from the taskbar. So that is your widgets down here, which yep, is a bit of a pain. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of that as well. And do you want to make any changes to File Explorer? So let's take a look anyway, see what we can do. So you've got the options here. So do you want to uh, show hidden files, folders, and drives? I do. So. I'm going to choose yes, entirely up to you what you do. Uh, show file extensions for known file types. I think that's a pretty simple thing. So yes, I do like to see the file extensions just in case a file is masquerading as something that it actually isn't. Then you've got the hide the home selection from the uh, file explorer on the side panel. I don't like the home section, so I'm definitely gonna get rid of that. I like to keep things simple there. And also we've got hide the gallery section from the taskbar. Yeah, let's get rid of that as well. Uh, hide duplicate removable drive entries from File Explorer. Yeah, that's pretty annoying, so I'm going to choose yes. Again, you can read through all this stuff and uh, see what works for you. If need be, do a system restore and go back to how it was previously. This is pretty flexible. 
And of course, if you go over to their website, you can see more in-depth information about how the actual uh, software or the script actually works. So at the very end here, it says, press enter to confirm your choices and execute the script, or you can press control C to quit. So if you're a little bit nervous and you're not too sure, and you maybe need a little bit more help with this, maybe you can join our Discord or drop me a message in the message for this video. You can do that if you want to, but if you're happy, you can go ahead and press enter. And now it's gonna go ahead and get rid of the things that we don't want and basically execute the things that we've chosen in the script, which is pretty cool. You may get the occasional error message if something has already been previously removed, but uh, yeah, just let it go ahead and do its thing. And there we go, that was uh, pretty quick, the last bit. So there it says the script has been completed successfully press any key to exit. So yeah, it couldn't be simpler. If you want to go through, you can see uh, what has actually happened and check it. So disabling Xbox game screen recording, success, success, all these have been successful. So this should make the system uh, a lot nicer. And obviously we've lost bits down here. So we don't have that annoying widget anymore. We've now got a slightly more streamlined start menu. And if we click on start, again, lots of the, uh, the stuff that you don't necessarily want there has now been removed, which is excellent. So this should make your PC a little bit quicker and obviously uh, looks a little bit cleaner. So we go into Explorer. It's basically exactly how I want it to be. So we don't have duplicated drives, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it just looks nice and clean and tidy. So yeah, very happy with that. So once you're done, click on the window, press enter or any key, and that is it. You are pretty much done with a nice clean operating system. Okay, so there you go, there's a, a nice little app which can drastically clean up your system. And again, going back to the things, if you had any security concerns about telemetry data, basically Microsoft spying on you, this I feel is a very good way of doing it. I think the interface could be a little bit nicer, but again, it is a very lightweight interface, so kind of pros and cons with that. Hopefully at some point there'll be a, a GUI based version with icons, so you know exactly what it is you're removing. But anyway, now I think this works very well and it's absolutely free. You can check out all the code on the GitHub site. So yeah, I like it a lot and it's made my PC a little bit more snappy. At least it does seem to be on my video editing PC, which I've tried this on previously before I made this video on the streamer. Yeah, I think it's very good. So yeah, check it out for yourselves. The links will be in the video description. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.